Over the past 24 months, the biggest news in the snowmobile industry would still have to be the cooperation between Articat and Yamaha, and the merger of incredible technologies that has brought us some of the best snowmobiles we have ever ridden. The three-cylinder Genesis 1049cc triple, or nitro motor as we've all come to know it, is a great motor. Yamaha, being a motor company, knows exactly what they need to do to make the most out of a motor. However, it was never fully realized in the nitro chassis. With the help of the Arctic Cat cooperative effort, this monster is now one capable four-stroke, and quite possibly the best four-stroke snowmobile ever produced. With that being said, there is still the king of the castle, the Arctic Cat 9000, which features the 1100cc turbo, and brings with it not only huge horsepower numbers, but something that Yamaha has never been able to offer the four-stroke market. While Yamaha isn't interested in factory turboing the 1049, they are quite happy to offer a dealer-installed kit through a cooperative effort with MPI turbos. And thanks to the extensive testing, you can hold on to your factory warranty as long as you opt for your dealer to install the kit. The real question when turboing a sled is how much horsepower am I actually going to see? At what level of reliability? And is this going to cost me an arm and a leg? The beauty of this kit, as I previously stated, is the reliability. So much so that Yamaha is willing to stand behind it with a full factory warranty, if your dealer installs. What will it set you back? If you're located south of the border, the kit can be had for $32.99, and in Canada, it retails for $41.95. What will it gain you? Well, let's just say the Articat 9000 ain't got nothing on this one. Thanks to some rerouting of the intake, the trail version of the turbo no longer has the filter sticking through the side of the hood like the mountain kit does, which means that when you pull up to the gas station, nobody's going to actually know that you have a turbo unless you put a sticker on the hood. The MPI dealer installed turbo kit will deliver a significantly impressive 45 horsepower on premium pump fuel at sea level on a trail rocket like our 2015 Viper. And while most aftermarket turbos require, well, a big budget and lots of patience to try to perfect, the MPI kit is plug and play with no splicing, welding, or cutting of the chassis required. After installation, riders can expect to be sitting atop no less than 175 horsepower and more likely in the range of 180 to 185, or in other words, industry leading power when you consider that this sled still has a factory warranty. Seat of the pants acceleration is mind warping, with nothing from the dealership floor coming even close to the wound up rubber band feel of this blown rocket. The Viper truly is venomous when you link it with an MPI kit. Acceleration, while intense when mating the throttle with the bars, can also be quite trailable and tame under normal riding conditions. A welcome relief from the typical on or off feeling from most aftermarket turbo kits. Spooling a genuine Volvo turbo unit, this kit shows absolutely zero lag and builds power in a very linear way, which is something that aftermarket turbo kits struggle to attain. With a billet blow-off valve and piggyback fuel injection unit, this kit runs efficient and seamless. Due to the physical size of the unit and the packaging of the already tight Genesis 1049, there was no room for an underhood intercooler, which may be the reason MPI opted to place a very large performance intake filter right below the belt side body panel. While it all sounds great, is there anything that I'd change about this kit? At the end of the day, yes, there is one simple thing that I would change about the entire install of the MPI Turbo. The MPI kit doesn't come with new gears, and we all know the Viper runs out of big digits pretty quick in stock form. This means that while the skis may not touch the ground at any point to 100 miles per hour, they will abruptly at that point, as there is literally nothing more the motor can do. The mechanical gearing just plain runs out. It seems like a bit of an issue not letting a sled like this really be able to stretch its legs, but the truth is you can clear this up with some aftermarket gearing pretty easily. And who knows, if Yamaha buyers are as happy as we hear they are with the MPI Turbo Kit, maybe in the near future Yamaha will offer this direct from the factory with the proper gears already installed. But for right now, I think you're going to be pretty happy with the performance of this kit. If you like this video, post a comment and tell us what you think. Then click on this link to subscribe to Snowtracks TV here on the YouTube channel.